is the finished product. I put it off. shoot today with rip curl so um, I thought I'd take you guys along it's just a really um, mellow shoot doing their um, little wetsuits call they're called the um, bombshells so it's fun and this guy is gonna hang out with Morgan while I go mm -hmm. that's sweet getting our makeup done Um, I'm just down at Dreamtime shooting with Rip Curl for the Bombshell series wetsuits and I'm probably gonna have a little break in about an hour so I'm gonna go back and feed Banks um, but yeah this shoot is pretty cruisy so super fun So I just got back and Banks has had about no, a no. toast and a half of avocado toast. Mama. Try. You want some more? more no. Okay, so he is eating so much more. But Banks more. just had, I think he put some on my chin. Oh, you want some water now? Have some water. He's so good at drinking water, it's crazy. Every time he's thirsty, he'll like, he calls it moi. And he'll just drink water. Dang, yeah, Bubba. That's a lot of that's a lot of food for one Bubba. So yeah, he just pretty much had a toast and a half of this bread with avocado. And he loved it. So usually we do smoothies, but our blender's broken. Yeah. And yeah, so he's having some bread and avocado, and I'm gonna make some oats with some apple and blueberries. Um, but yeah, we're just back on the Gold Coast, and Jack is on, in Western Australia, so we're here just by ourselves right now. Morgan actually leaves tomorrow, so it's just me and a bubba. Whoa. And yeah, I just thought I would show you guys what we eat in a day because that's always fascinating to me. And especially this guy now that he's eating more. Oopsie. Um, he's still a little bit, I would say, not fussy about what he's eating, but he doesn't like everything. So I just kind of try things like last night I tried some broccoli with some like nutritional yeast and stuff. And he was like, no. Um, but yeah, we usually get the greens and some like, we usually get like greens in his smoothies. So that's like a sneaky way to do that. But like I said, the blender's broken. Um, but yeah, we'll just see what we get up to with this crazy man. Loves apples and he has pretty much his, almost all his teeth in. So he's pretty good at chewing now. <laughs> little cool cat. I have a half a cup of oats. So I just put about however much I feel is necessary. I like cooking my oats with um, plant-based milks because it makes it all creamy and then sometimes I just add a little bit more water if I need. Just roughly cut up an apple and I'm gonna put that in. And then I got some organic blueberries that I'm gonna throw in too. And I can just pour that right in. We can never have enough blueberries. A little bit of coconut shreds because that's super yummy. Here's the final product. I just put some bananas and some coconut yogurt on top. And there's like a bunch of oats, berries, and apples in there. It's super yummy. It might not look the best, but you know, I'm getting there, you guys. I'm getting Look who it is, Baba. Thanks. Talk to Dada. Uh -oh. Say hi. Hi, Mama. Hi, Mama. No, it's Dada. Num num. He's having the num nums. Num num? 
Give kiss. Give kiss. That was a good kiss. Give another kiss. Thank you. I love the kisses. That's pretty cute, Baba. Got Banks down for a nap. I'm actually just about to leave pretty soon to go. Um, I'm gonna go to the gym and I'm gonna go work on my back stuff. So I thought I'd show you guys that. I've gotten a lot of questions about how I'm like um, getting my back all sorted and how I'm healing it and all the exercises I'm doing. So I'll try to show you guys that at the gym. Um, my back's doing so much better. I haven't had any like flare ups, but I've noticed that it's definitely still um, I wouldn't say like a hundred percent all the way better. It still is like a little tight So I'm still very cautious of like what I do and if I'm feeling tightness I really like make sure I stretch and do some of my exercises especially before surfing or Anything that I'm doing. I just got to the gym and I was just gonna show you guys a few of the exercises that I feel that really have helped me and my back um, I do some stretching beforehand and some rolling out on my quads um, and like a lot of stretching through my um, hips so I always start with that um, but yeah these are just a few of the exercises that have been I feel like really have helped me and made my back really strong um, I'm still not like a hundred percent there yet but we're getting close so this move is to get my deep abdominals fired up I'm just alternating um, each hand and leg to go down at the same time and you really want to activate those lower abdominals and keep everything super straight and your back pressed against the floor and you're just really concentrating on activating everything. This is a glute bridge, and this is to help your glutes get activated and strong. Um, holding your core in while you're doing this and keeping your back and everything in a perfect straight line. You will be holding this for about 30 seconds. Next move is pretty much the same thing, but you're just gonna be alternating legs and holding for about 30 seconds on each leg and Definitely keeping your core and everything engaged and strong. This is called a flagpole and it helps getting your side abdominals working. I hold this for about 60 seconds on each side and really engaging everything including your glute muscles. This is just your basic frog walk with a band and as you can see I'm not bending down super low in a squat I'm kind of hinging at the waist and that's to get those glutes really working and kind of keep things out of your legs those are just like a few of the exercises that I've been doing and those that have been helping me they're super specific to like my body and um, yeah, I just thought I'd show you guys. Just back at the house and I jumped in the shower. Jack actually surfs soon, so I have the contest on. Um, I think he's next heat pretty much. And I'm gonna make a quick salad and maybe some hummus that I made earlier. I'm gonna put that on the salad because I don't really have any beans and stuff made, but um, I just kinda want something fast and easy, so I'm just gonna chop up a bunch of veggies and have that because I just want something fresh. Up and having some mandarin. Mm. Yummy. Mm. Yummy. Yummy. Mm. Yummy. You want more? Moi. Mm. Moi. Banks munching on some kale chips now. Mm. Banks is also having some um what are these called? Cereal. The cereal. <laughs> Banks is also having some organic O's with some oat milk. He's just actually throwing them though instead of eating them.
going to heat up some of these little, or one of these burgers. Um, it's super simple ingredients. All it is is chickpeas, carrots, sweet potatoes, lentils, sunflower seed, or sunflower bran oil, spices, and kale. So I'm going to have one of those on top of the salad. This is the finished product. I put an avocado. I put that veggie patty. I put a big scoop of hummus, and I also put some two flax cross crackers. I'm just trying to get all fancy for you guys. But yeah, looks pretty good. Lots of veggies and everything, just the way I like it. Yum. Uh, now to enjoy my salad and watch Jack in the contest. He's competing um, in Western Australia right now, so good luck, babe. Banks just went to the park with Morgan. Morgan has been with us for like almost, I don't know, a, a while, since January. Oh wait, no, since February. And um, yeah, it, she's just been helping us out so much. So they're spending some, their last evening together, which is super sad. And um, we love you, Morgan. You've helped us out so much. And we're gonna miss you. Ready to do We got some quinoa, salad. Avocado, some tofu scramble, and some veggies. Smells delicious. It's yeah, it's Momo's going away party. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know though that there's actually no literally proven no, scientific no. fact of the art out vegan? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.